All right. Hey, brother. How are we doing? What's up, man? What's happening? Not much. Welcome to another episode of the Midwest Mindset. Here we are. We're I here. We're here again. We're back. What's going on, Paul? How are you, man? We're back. I'm wearing in 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 my you know dedication to breweries that um, you know you've kind of started the policy. This is the local brewery we have here, way out in the suburbs, called the North Twenty, which is uh, a, a new brewery that just opened up this year, right in the middle. Of the they had the the Zoom to 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 the whole town saying that they wanted to do this, and I was part of a couple of meetings, and they're like, "Yeah, oh, really? Start. That's great." It's overlooking this prairie. It's really a cool, cool vibe with, with good beer. We just did a, a charity event for moms and neighbors that raises money for um, the youth of the community of the the district, the four four communities here in Apple yeah. Valley, you and and uh, Egan and Rosemont. And oh, nice. uh, yeah, yeah, it was a really cool fundraiser. And so, so yeah, I'm ripping. They're not a sponsor yet, but I just wanted to give a little shout out so to them. All of the so is it right in the like that T of all the areas there, like the Apple Valley, Rosemont, the brewery, like the, or what? yeah, the brewery. Uh, it's it's actually the brewery is in Rosemont, so it's kind of out towards um, uh, Highway 52, kind of out in a rural area. So it's, oh, it's cool, really, it's on a dirt road to get there. It's, it's, yeah. it's got a cool vibe. We should yeah. we should go there for our next podcast. We should That's go there. Sure. Name, man. I, I'd do that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> No problem at all. I'm in. Yeah, I can't believe I can't I can't believe the brute. Well, I guess the, the pandemic kind of helped. Well, hurt, but helped because the it's kind of trending again. You know, like the breweries were like, oh my gosh, how many of these are gonna open? And it got kind of it kind of saturated like it really yeah, it got really uh, some of these breweries that came out. I mean, I'm trying the beers and I'm like, what are you guys doing in here? This beer tastes like garbage. Everybody's like, yeah, this is good, you know. Oh, yeah. Everybody's giving like five star, like on the apps, the different like brewery apps, beer apps. I'm like, wait a minute, we got to be a little more stingy with our with our rankings here, guys. So because there were so many too, I, <sighs> I, I, I definitely think we we've talked about it and hinted about it too many times to not have a podcast dedicated to, um, just brewery, right? I mean, from that one that we did live at your place where we had that pilsner, um, yeah. Right? Yeah, we could we we could talk about the 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 cool things about breweries and how it brings people together and the community okay. and the okay. whole piece. I mean, so that's, that's, that would be, a, that'd be fun. That's gonna be next week because 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 this week today right now where we're at yeah. is um the topic is uh uh the statement it's more of a statement than a you know one word as where we were going before is I don't know is the statement. What do we what do we do when we hear um or you know when do you use I should say. When do you use I don't know, Brett, in your life? Uh, all the time. I mean, I think I say it a lot. It, I should say it more probably yeah. um, because I don't know a lot. You know, like when my kids come to me and they're like, Dad, you know, uh, like, I don't even know. Like, Dad, how does the car work? You know, like, how does an engine work? I don't know. I mean, I could give you a line, but let's go. let's go find somebody that could teach you how. Oh, you know, so when my kids ask me crazy questions, not even crazy questions, just curiosity questions, questions about how the world works. I don't know. You know, ask your teacher. And That's if your right. teacher doesn't know, I bet they'll find a book for you to read. So the beauty is that word opens up things. I or that phrase opens up things for you right. to go find out and you to learn more. That's the way I kind of look at it. Um, I wish I don't know was used a little bit more by um a lot of people in the world. I mean, where, where do you use it, Paul? Where do you use it? Well, obviously, and to, to the point of bringing this up is not enough, right? Yeah, I mean, you, I think you hit the needle on the head when you said that, um, you know, we get a lot of questions from our kids, from people in our lives, and, and we're so quick to try to regurgitate some old memory or something that we think is the right answer sometimes when we don't clearly know. Yeah. And I when I when I saw this and we talked about it as a topic, I I was like, this is great because I don't use it enough. In yeah. fact, you know, you know, with your kids, I mean, a perfect example is I don't know, but let's go find out. Like, here's the avenue, like that direction or come back and say, where do you think we, we could find that out? You know, somebody asks you, you know, your, you know, your son asks you, you know, how, how do cars work? I'm not sure. How do you think we could find that out? So I don't know. 
well, maybe, maybe we, maybe we Google it. You know what I mean? What I'm getting as instead of coming back with the answer, like we so commonly do, like I know for me specifically, I so quickly try to have the answer for everything. Yeah. Here's the thing. We both know enough to be dangerous in a lot of different things. Like we're both in healthcare. We know certain areas, certain expertise in certain, you know, finance areas, right? Like, yeah. you know, ophthalmology and, and retina. I know it, I know enough, but I don't know everything. And then right. there's a lot of times I'll get a question about, a, a, you know, the post, you know, post interior, uh, posterior chamber of the eye, you know what I mean? The back of the eye where I'm doing a lot of the different things that, sure. that I'm working with. But yet yeah. it's like, someone will ask me a question and, and all of a sudden I'll, I'll fake it a little bit too much where I yeah. should say, I actually don't know, you know, exactly what it is and be okay yeah. with that. I feel yeah. like in the past I've, uh, uh, tried to answer it in a way just to, uh, look important or look yeah. like I know everything. Yeah. I completely agree with you. I, I used to, do why do you think we do that? Yeah. Oh, cause you don't want to look like you don't know. I mean, like, well, I'm the person, like I'm the guy, like my ego is almost like sitting there going, you've got to know, like, you've got to say something at least when I don't know, I, I read it yesterday. It's like, regret what you didn't say, not the other way around, you know, like maybe like don't say something and, you know, almost be like, even if you think, you know, but if you don't know a hundred percent, you don't have to say something. Like that's the big well, thing. Be empowered to go find something, go figure it out, right? Go figure it out. I, right? I think I think that's there's there's um there's power in that. Like, yeah. Wow, I never I never thought of that. I I think I know what that answer is, but I'm not sure. Let's look. You know, let's go find out. Yeah. I, I did yeah. that with my 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 son the other day. We were we were just we were just talking about specifically you know a couple of football things, and I was like, well. I have a pretty good idea, but let's, let's, you know, let's pull it up. And actually it's yeah. a great talking point and a great opportunity for not only you to show, you know, your, our kids humility, maybe a little bit, right. Yeah. You know, less yeah. ego, more humility. You know, we talked yeah. about that, the humility yeah. I had a podcast ago where I just talked about myself and how great I was, you know, you know, get out of here. No, no, but you know what I mean? We were, you were getting yeah. like that and rightfully so. But um, what I'm getting at is that, uh, you know, being okay with saying I don't know, but I could find out. Yeah. Is a yeah. is a is a great possibility, I think. Completely. I was asked a question this morning. Um have uh do you know how to do you know how to make a model airplane? I was like, no, I don't know. He's like, you know, our son asked me, I'm like, but we can find out. Let's go, sure. Lou. Like we'll find one. He goes, We gotta go on Amazon, Dad. I'm like, oh, okay. Like he's six, you know, it's like, you have to buy right. it. Dad. that's a good part. That's a good place to start. Let's do that. Sure. But, sure. Yeah. But I learned how to, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll learn. I'll learn. I think you show that too. That's leadership that you can show for your kids. You can show for other people in your community just by saying, I don't know. And I wish, you know, I wish our leaders, some other leaders would, would be willing to step up and say that, um, you know, so that's that shows, where I was one with this, this, this yeah. idea of like, you know, so often in time, uh, leaders like I'll, I'll never forget. This was a uh, this was like ten years ago. They were talking about you know in the NFL. There's the the draft picks are a big thing, right? Come draft time, um, yeah. they're drafting college players. And who is it? Um, um, Mel Kiper has this whole draft pick, and you know it, it's it's a huge business, right? Yeah. Draft day and everything like that. Yeah. Well, I remember it was like ten years ago. Um, uh, I think it was K Fan had on on their on their um, radio uh, the morning show. They, they said they brought in this analyst that said, you know what I mean? I know everything there is about college players. I'm ready for this draft. And yeah. they knew that this guy was, you know, pretty confident in himself. So they came up before the show, they came up with a fictitious person, somebody that literally like, you know, just BS stats. Right. Yeah. You know, like, what do you think of them? And then left it, left it open air. And you're just sitting there and he just immediately goes, Oh, he's got great potential. And just, and he lied right on, right on the, you know, right on the Some uh, random person radio station. And I can't remember the guy's name, but it was just so obvious that he felt the pressure of being the expert, being the person that was called upon to say, Hey, yeah. we brought you on this radio station. You better know your stuff. So when he didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. We talk about fake it until you make it. Well, that one didn't work so well for him because he lost all credibility after he did yeah. that. Yeah. How many times do leaders out there in our, you know, in, 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 you know, in our communities, you know, do this. And it's frustrating because 
I, I think it would be much more empowering for a leader to say, I don't know, but guess yeah. what? These are the morals. These are the values that I have. Yeah. I mean, we're heading into, I mean, you can't turn on the TV right now without seeing an uh, ad for a politician right now, right? Right, right, yeah. And if if we had a little bit more of, I don't know, but this is who I am and I lead with positive intent, this is my intentions. So I might not know now, but I'm gonna do the best to find out. Yeah. But yeah. yet, we don't see that vulnerability, do we? We don't see it a lot, but you know, and hey, I, I'm not perfect either. I, I mean, there are times where I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the reason why, you know, like this, this is why I think it, it's happening, especially in a complex problem, because that's impossible to really know what's going on. Like the political scene is such a complex thing. There's just so many people and just thoughts and values and beliefs are all different and it's hard, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's hard to be a leader and, and stand up there and say, I don't know, but I'm going to try. It's like, well, I don't want you to try. I want you to have a plan. I want you to have all the answers because right. I'm voting for you and I'm paying my taxes and I, 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 I want this and I want this, you know? So it's almost like, go ahead. You want to say something? Well, go ahead. I just think, I, I, I think though that like Simon Sinek talks about this in leadership all the time, the vulnerability to say, I don't know, like yeah. the, okay, the, the whole idea of to be, not the smartest one in the room yeah. is an okay thing. Like we're, we're so, uh, maybe it's, um, uh, I don't know if it's tradition or whatever, you know, the reason why we feel like we have to have all the answers, but some of the best leaders are the ones that aren't the brightest in the room. You know what I mean? But they've brought the brightest people in the room to have the answers. Like a leader that says, you know, we just had a conference call this morning with my whole squad, the whole United States for the ophthalmology you know, department for, sure for my company. And yeah. if a leader came on that call and said, you know what? I don't know that answer, but guess what? I have, you know, this team that if they don't have it right now, we'll get back to you. Yeah. The whole idea is it's a great question. It's something that we should answer or whatever it might be. This is that yeah. hypothetical, but I, I guarantee you, I'd feel much more empowered to work for that leader than I would that says, oh yeah, it's this for sure. When I know it's not, no. If they have that bold statement and they have the wrong statement, I just Do you think I, that's the majority of people. Do you think the majority of people feel that way? No, but the majority of people are idiots. Well, I don't know. No, I'm. Well, I don't know. Hey, I'm just asking. I've been doing man. That, for that, that whole sound bite. Um, well, I'm listening, buddy. I, what yeah. I mean by that is, most people, it's so easy to always you know, tell me what I want to hear. Great. That's yeah. that's. You know what I mean? That's not always, that's not always the right answer. Show some humility. I'm touching a chord with you, it looks like. No, not really. I I don't know. I, I agree with you. Like, okay. I completely agree with you. I just don't know if that's, if it's realistic or not. I hope it is because I, I will work for people that will say, I, I don't know, but let's get together and let's right. come up with a solution. And if the solution doesn't work, let's try another solution. And let's try another solution. And that's the way that things are now. I think about, I mean, I think about the way that like startup companies are made. You don't really know what's going to happen. You just, you open the door and you hope and you go and you work every single day as hard as you possibly can. And you try new things constantly. And if it doesn't work, that's why people can't, some people can't handle doing a startup and it's hard because you're not, there's no roadmap. There are no footsteps to follow as the like founding fathers of the, of the United States would say, like if there are no footsteps to follow when those guys were doing it, they right. just had to figure it out. And that takes a lot of courage. That takes a lot of, uh, I don't know. It just, it takes a lot of curiosity and, and the guts to do it. And I don't think people have that. Like, it's just it's hard like you think oh. abe lincoln abe lincoln think about abe lincoln dude like the guy gave up his life in a way um are any of these politicians willing to do that are they willing yeah. to stand up there and do that and, i mean and, yeah and i guess i i'm not even getting so much into like i i, I totally get where you're going with this and, yeah. and we're, we're on the same page on a lot of this what i'm getting at is i can't control that but what i can control is how i show up to be a leader yeah. but when i start the topic of i don't know is maybe i need to do that a little bit more or maybe i have the opportunity to do a little right. bit more of that in my life to say i don't know and and that's all right but i can yeah. figure it out and 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 you know what that might be some of the fun to go figure it out if i yeah. lose credibility with that particular individual because they think less of me 
well, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's on them more than it is on, you know. So to your point about the leadership, you know, maybe there's that accountability with our votes. You know what I mean? You, yeah. you can voice that opinion there. What I'm saying yeah. is how can I have an impact on my, you know, my community and, and the things that I do or the, the, the children I'm raising, the family I'm, you know, providing for and, and uh, you know, helping out. I can, sh I can show up differently and I can show up by saying it's okay to, to, you know, to not know. Yeah. And you know, you could change that to just, I don't know yet. You just add yeah. yet to the end of there that phrase and we're Perfect. all just fine. Cause I think I say that more than I say, I don't know. I say, I don't know yet, but I'll there find out. Go. I say it every week, that, right? at least once. I mean, it's like, I don't know yet. Let it's, me find out. I'll get back the to the 40th episode, but, but, uh, 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 you know, it, it, the power of yet, it comes back from Carol Dweck from the very initial book. You know what I mean? The growth mindset. Said it twice this morning. I mean, it's literally it comes out of my mouth on a daily basis with our kids because it is important, even as they're tying their shoes or they're How trying did it to zip. Come up this morning, Tell, share. trying to but trying to button a shirt up. Our daughter, she's like, I can't do it. My wife said it. She goes, You can't do it yet. And it's like, because she can do it because we saw her do it yesterday. Um, you know, so it's like I can't do it yet, yet, yet. I mean, all you got to throw that word at the end of anything, buddy. Like I. I accidentally did it with, to a friend when we were in Denver. She's like, oh, I just can't do that. And I go, yet. She goes, okay, yep. fine. I can't do it yet. Get out of here, man. Like, we're, you know, we got three or four beers deep here and we're having a great afternoon. You don't need to teach me. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Right. It was just a habit, man. I'm a it's dad first. Because I'm a dad you do it with your kids. I love it, Brett. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, you try because you got to do it in your own life. More, most of the time, it's just a reminder to myself. Um, because there's a the difference, yeah. is, right? We're trying to reach those people that are open-minded enough to, yeah. to, to, to hear this and, and to take one piece of something we said within this, you know, short 30 minute podcast, you yeah. know, they're listening to it on the weekend. Maybe it's a, a, you know, you're traveling during the week, you know, after it, but, but one, you know, one, one part of it is just, if you got one thing from this podcast that you can incorporate that for you to show up a little differently, great. If yeah. not, uh, maybe you just got to look at our beautiful faces for, you know, 30 minutes. That's perfect too, right? Yeah, and you're like, what does that guy look like? What? No, I can't even believe he looks like that. I had no idea that man looked right. like that. Right, oh. I did not know. Brett, was that good looking? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he needs a haircut too. He <laughs> needs a haircut for sure. <laughs> so uh, what would be an action item that we could have from, from this? Ah, don't act like you know everything, I guess. Um, try and think of that. I, I, I'll do it myself if, if somebody asks me something. I'm going to really try to focus and try to try to think about a time. And hopefully I remember for next week. I'll write it on a post-it. Um, a time where I had to say, I don't know. And then what was it and what happened? So at A, you said, I don't know. What were B, C, and D after that? And try to like see yeah. what the narrative is after that. but. That's my thought. You can probably simplify it. No, like, no, I, that's that's what we'll have. We'll do next week. We'll we'll start off with uh, you know what what your I don't know was because I'll do it too. And 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 my ask is that I want to do it in a group setting where normally I wouldn't. And what I mean oh. by that is I want to do it in front of people that normally I would, you know, like when my ego gets in the way, it's usually in a group of people where I'm trying to be something I'm probably you know you know not. You know what I mean? Whatever it might sure. be. Know, enter any subject matter but what i'm getting at is i'm going to try to be uh cognizant of of myself you know in an interaction with a group of friends a group of things with from now until next friday till we do this again and yeah. and and just say i don't know yet if you yeah if you throw the yet in there that's extra credit just, yeah. just do one yeah for sure okay that's all <laughs> great man that works for me i love it i'll do it as well man i'm really looking forward to it now Awesome. Well, I'm going to hold you accountable. Next time we talk, we'll, we'll definitely do that. Um, cool. Otherwise, uh, hey, have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. All right. Sounds good, Paul. Later, man. You bet. Bye. Bye.